Hello everyone, this is Stephanie Pettis in the Roland Studio, and I wanted to share a happy mail that I received about uh, four, five, four days ago, maybe. Um, anyways, it, it might have already been almost a week at this point, uh, or Monday, um, so I'm a little behind on getting this video out, so for that I do apologize. Uh, it's from a wonderful friend of mine, her name is Grace Valdivia. You might also know her as uh, Nostalgic Intricate Delights. She also has a uh, group page called The Crafter's Monkey Mess. So I hope you guys uh, bear with me as we get through this large package. That she's... Now, I have already opened this. As a matter of fact, I stole a couple of little pieces to craft with, but I just haven't had a chance. Uh, she she kind of made me open it. <laughs> I just had a chance to get uh, to a point where I could do the video. So I am running behind. As a matter of fact, um, she got her package for me. I think she's gotten both of them. But I think she's done a part one to the video that I sent her. And uh, here is uh, her package uh, to me. So here we go. Now I'm going to hide this bag because it's got her... Um, address on it of course now she had sent me some wire so I'm looking forward to to uh, some jewelry wire there I can always use jewelry wire uh, but I want to start with this because this is something I do not have um, I don't have a Sizzix or a Cameo or a cuddle bug or any of those little uh, paper die cutting machines so uh, and I'm, I'm not really into cards, but I am limited. If I wanted to make one, I really can't. So, bless her heart, she uh, she went ahead, and I believe she gets a lot of these uh, generic uh, metal dies, but she gets them, and they're so wonderful, and I am all about saving a buck, and she got me just a whole... She took the time to cut each of these out, for me with her machine so grace thank you is very very sweet very very thoughtful of you and i'm very grateful because i wouldn't be getting this stuff <laughs> so let's look at some of the first ones that she sent me and i love them those just cute have you seen these because i haven't it's not saying much, but I haven't. And I just think they're absolutely adorable. Uh, she's trying to turn me into a shabby chicer. It's working. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, I'm an all-around crafter, so shabby chic's not beyond me. I just really don't uh, visit it very much. But I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Some little high heel shoes. And then she cut me out some ladies because, you know, sometimes I need to be reminded to be a lady. Now, I'm all woman, but a lady only sometimes. <laughs> just kidding. I'm, I try to be, um, but these are just gorgeous. Are they not? I just love them. They're so cute. Uh, there's some doubles and triples. She gave me extras. I guess she did two of each is what it's looking like. So, and these little um, butterflies, some are embossed and some are uh, punched out. Absolutely gorgeous. And, and I do love that little Victorian look. Believe it or not, I do. Um, I'm just not the biggest collector of any of that stuff. I know there's plenty of crafters that are. Uh, I'm not one of them. But maybe I'll get there. Who knows? But I love the butterflies. And there's just a mass variety of them. They're so gorgeous. Look at these butterflies. They're so detailed. They look so lacy gracie. Did I say that? <laughs> they do. Oh, well, looks like I am losing some of these out of frame. So let me get them in frame. They're so adorable, so cute. I'll show you that lady very 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 cute I love them I mean they even get the small of her back like with details y'all see that I mean wow that's some detailed stuff so 
And there's those. And I can always use butterflies. I love these butterflies. Now, I do like the butterfly. I love the butterfly. I've been loving butterflies for a long time. There's a personal significance for me for that. Um, not one I'll get into. But just know that butterflies are more than just a, a thing in the world out there. They mean something to me uh, personally. And let me get all of these ladies back in their paper. And the butterflies can go with her because they're delicate too. Beautiful. Love the die cuts. Thank you. I, I don't have a die machine. I love the die cuts. Thank you, Grace. And look at these clocks. Boy, I'm going to have to get creative because I know most of this stuff is for cards, but, you know, I see canvas opportunities. <laughs> I see mixed media opportunities. Some steampunk opportunity. <laughs> Yes, I do. And look, are these just not cute? Little dress forms right here in them. Oh, what are those? Oh, I can't even think. I know what they're called. I always sound stupid when I get to doing a video. It's like my brain stops working. <laughs> oh, y'all know what it is. I'll think of it in a minute. <laughs> It'll pop into my crazy little head. They're just adorable. It's not, is that not cute? And they popped right out of here. I know what they're called. I really do. I really do know what they're called. For some reason, the word escapes me. Or as Dory says, escape. Escape. And look, look at these bird cages. And it's not just bird cages, it's the birds, y'all. It's the birds are they not just so cute i love the birds look grace they're so freaking adorable oh my gosh she's not only got the bird cages but she's got birds oh it's cute cute look the little wing pops out look the little wing pops out pop oh that's so cute so you can be three-dimensional with that that is super, super cool. I love it. I mean, I gotta get me one of these machines. They're pretty cool. I like that. So, so adorable. Thank you, Grace. I love my birdies. What else we got in here? I mean, golly, look at all these dice. This woman did some work. I mean, she did some work. Look at that beautiful dove corset there it is see corset thank you i know you all were going corset stuff corset <laughs> yes it was a corset look at the unicorns did you know i mean really did you know that the unicorn's name actually derives from a uh, a uh, one horned um, what are those things called? A, not a hippopotamus. What are those things called? With the I'll know the name of that too. See, my brain doesn't work. I'm gonna have to edit this video just so I don't look stupid or sound stupid. I shouldn't even brought it up. Anyway, maybe that'll pop up into my head too. <laughs> a rhino. I'm sorry, I had to pause my video. My dog was trying to tear up my carpet, so, you know, I had to remove her from the, this area. She's not used to being inside. She just got spayed, so uh, we've been caging her and putting her in the bathroom and all that stuff to try to keep her healed because she's an outside dog. She was a stray, but it seems she's she and her brother adopted us, so we had to get her fixed, so she's not used to being in the house. So it's not her fault. I just had to stop and get her from tearing up my carpet. Um, trying to give her a little freedom, bless her heart. But anyway, back to these beautiful doves, which I do love. So gorgeous. And look, I haven't gotten into the junk journaling thing, but 
I have done art journals where I made my own book. Uh, I haven't actually done any art in it, but um, I did do a video on the, the art journal. So if you, I'll try to remember to put a link to that in here. It was, it was for um, Valentine's Day. It was a series that I did. So check that out. But she cut all these tags out. There's blank ones in different sizes. And then there's these beautiful printed ones. And I need to put my glasses back on. What am I thinking? You know, I can, I've always had great vision, but you know, you get to a certain age and it all starts fading away. But she made me various tags. I love this one. I love this paper on this one. I really do. Thank you, Grace. Just all sorts of sizes of tags. And I'm looking forward to using those in my future junk journal <laughs> that I plan to make. And there's so many awesome people out there doing junk journals. Uh, Michelle Scott and Abby, uh, I think it's Henderson. Y'all know her by Scrap and Abby, but she's changing it to Purple Cottage, uh, Purple Cottage Crafts. Uh, those ladies do junk journals. Um, I know several other people out there doing junk, junk journals. Um, I myself have not touched the junk, junk journal. Uh, and uh, I think, I think KK did some journaling. I think she's doing some journaling. And then, I don't know. I'm sure there's others out there doing some junk journals. Um, okay, I do apologize. I ended up uh, getting a phone call. So uh, let me just continue here. She sent me these awesome little teacups or teapots. You know, I guess Stephanie must be turning shabby chic. What are y'all doing to me? But look, it's even got the steam. Is that not cute? And alcohol inked or gelatoed or whatever. I can even use them like a stencil and do the black and white or the the negative of it. So I'm getting inspired. I think I was saying that before I had that phone call come in. I am getting inspired. And I love working with my gelatos. I need to do it. I did a video on those too. And um, I'll just have to do another one on that. I love my gelatos. And look, more butterflies. Are they not beautiful? Beautiful little butterflies. God, oh, love it. I just love them. And she took the time to cut these for me. Thank you, Gracie. Thank you, sweetie. I really, really am grateful. Very, very nice. And look at that. Bible journal. Bible journal. Decorative Bible book. Um, I just, look, all the crosses. You know, I might have to do some Bible journals for my mom's church. And because uh, they always have events and uh, they don't sell anything. They give them away. Uh, they usually have different uh, ministers meetings and sister meetings and things like that. Retreats and stuff where they come up with gifts. So maybe I'll make a uh, couple of journals using this. Maybe. And uh, ooh, that sounds like fun. Some Bible journaling. Gosh, I think I see inspiration. Thank you, Grace. I, I have in, look at me all bending them. I am not delicate, am I? I'm not like like Miss Gracie. She's so sweet and delicate. I'm just all like grabbing them up. <laughs> I, I have trucker hands. I apologize. <laughs> and I believe this is that water splash. I believe she used this on one of her cards that she made. Um, yes. And I think they had the dancing people or the ballet. I can't remember anymore. But, yes, I know she used that. And then here's a beautiful uh, die cut. And these, I guess, it's got a some certain kind of paper because it doesn't feel like cardstock. It almost has a, a rubbery effect. But the roses, I like them. I don't know. I don't know what what uh, sort of paper that is, but it's pretty cool. Here's another one. And look, I'm gonna tell you this: this would be an awesome texture 
thing for my polymer clay because I also delve into polymer clay and dude I'm loving that for some polymer clay uh, yes yes I am and here are some frames look at that love 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 it love it just love it and then here are the insides of those frames look at that cool 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 I feel inspired I might just dance a jig <laughs> that's cool be like looking out a window one of those old window screens at least that's what I see when I see that and more gorgeous butterflies just more butterflies love it grace thank you for taking the time seriously all that time that you took out of your evening your day your craft time to put this together for me i am grateful i am inspired and i will be looking forward to using these guys so let me set these aside and look i love them shoes i especially love that blue one i love blue it's polka dot blue too she knows i love blue okay where's my bag here we go let's see what else we can get into she sent me some of these uh flowers these paper flowers which i'm thrilled about because i was running out of flowers i haven't made any flowers I, I need to make some flowers but i'm so super excited uh this is from click it for crafts um 25 pieces and she sent me one of these and man i needed some so Thank you so, so much for that because I am running low on flowers. Because I don't order online and all that because then it, ordering online tells on me. <laughs> Let me just be honest. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this part short because she, I'm not going to cut it short, but I'm going to get right to it is what I mean by that. Um, she sent, she and I were talking and she knows that I've got some personal projects that I plan plan to do and they are personal they will not be displayed um at least not on the crafting pages uh but she sent me some beautiful well I don't know I used some of this stuff already he <laughs> he he yes I did so I think I've had this about a week week and a half but she sent me this beautiful bling. Now, I'm going to zoom in on this because it's too pretty not to. Check that out. Now, that is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bling. I mean, come on. And she gave me, what, a yard of it, a foot of it, two foot? I'd say about a yard. It's at least an arm's length. And I think I cut about four of these off already. So I'd say at least a yard. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. The bling. I'll use some of this on some future projects. But I have other uh, alternative, alternative motives. Ulterior motives? Yeah, ulterior motives for these. <gasps> thank you, Grace. I love your bling. And thank you for making it mine. Because... I have never seen anything like that before. And again, I don't order so um, online. I go to the craft stores, but man, I'm going to have to go where she goes for this stuff because just look. Now, I don't know if my lights are throwing this off, but this is gold. And these are those rainbow beads where, or uh, rhinestones where they change color. Uh, and they got diamonds in them as well, large ones and small ones. And, oh my gosh, look at the dangle. Now, I am going to tell you I cheated and used some of this on my Halloween apothecary bottle. I'm going to show it to you. See? just I couldn't help it I ended up making this bottle and if you go on my apothecary jars you will see my video where I feature this 
and I've already shown you the whole thing, but just as a quick glimpse, uh, this is definitely a Halloween bath jar. It's got sea salt. It's got uh, it's got uh, dyed it's got dyed uh, cotton balls, and then it has rose soap petals in it. Uh, I wanted some bath beads, some of those bath beads that you know dilute you know in the water and they dis they dissipate. But I hadn't been able to find them, and I didn't have time to go online, so uh, I just put some air freshener beads, and then I did a resin to secure them because, you know, I didn't want the bath in the, the bath stuff mixing with that. But that's Epsom salt dyed also some orange. And, um, but look, I did. I found a way to use her bling right off the bat. I'm like, I got to get it, and I got to use it. I can't help it. So this is the first project already. All ready with this bling, and this bling is gorgeous. Grace, thank you. It's just gorgeous. Now, this one is also a wing spanner more, so it's probably also a, um, what you call it, a yard. Yard of that bling. And then, she was gracious enough to send me all of this. This beautiful Daimani. And these are the uh, expensive ones. These aren't the cheap ones. These are the, the, the true Daimonis. Uh, and they're absolutely gorgeous. I don't know. She told me they were... She told me how much they wore for the roll. And my goodness, they... Or for the yard per yard or something like that. And it wasn't cheap by all means. So I will be using this sparingly. Uh, maybe on some projects. But more for my personal use. Again, I have... Some personal uh, projects that will not be displayed uh, on the craft site. It's a whole nother project. It belongs in a whole nother territory. And now I want to tell you this. I told you that there was butterflies and uh, that I have a love for them and it's more than just because they're popular. There's a personal reason and my mother is my, I'll just say my family feels the same way, but she, uh, Grace was nice enough to include this beautiful pen, uh, this brooch pen, this butterfly for my beautiful mother. Isn't it gorgeous? It's like that, um, milk glass, it looks like, and then there's, uh, rhinestones. And then there's um, just a metal encapsulation. It's just, it's, it's encapsulated in, in beautiful uh, silver. And this was for my mom. Grace, thank you so much. My mom's going to love it. And I haven't been able to give it to her yet because I'm just now making the video. <laughs> but I told her about it. <laughs> she thought it was very sweet. So, uh... I'll be right back. My, I've got to switch out here. Okay, y'all. Look at this bling. Look at this bling. Oh, my goodness gracious. Grace, I love, I just love this bling. Um, I can cut this up and use it, uh, individual pieces. On some of them, I may do that. Then again, I may incorporate it into the other projects that I'm working on. Um that I have and uh, if not oh my gosh I love them I love this grace uh, thank you so so much for giving me these they're absolutely beautiful just stunning stunning oh I'm gonna feel like a rich woman <laughs> oh just love that and look at this applique I just want to say look at that applique and you know when I see this I see my masquerade mask <laughs> I can't help it. I've got showgirl mask all in my brain just because that was my thing. And it it just turned into my thing. So now it's kind of an icon for me. So this beautiful applique is gorgeous. I love it. And then she sent me this gorgeous pen as well. Oh, Grace. I'm going to close in on this. It's just too beautiful not to. Look at that. I want to make sure it's in focus. Oh my God, look at that. 
Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Is that not gorgeous? Just stunning. Stunning. Beautiful. God, that's beautiful. Again, all this can be separated if I wanted to. Um, don't know that I want to. Ah, I just love it. Oh. Now, I love the bling. And I have my new uh, page uh, for my YouTube is my showgirl that I did, my showgirl pin cushion that I made. And, of course, I have on there bling it on because I do love the bling and I know a lot of you do. But tell me, is that not gorgeous bling? Okay, I'm going to have to zoom out just because it's so big. <laughs> is that not just beautiful? What? What? I mean, just absolutely stunning pieces. Stunning. I love them. God, ugh. Just want a squeezer for this. I want to squeeze you, Grace. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful bling. Oh, I'm gonna be dreaming about bling. I'm going to be dreaming about bling. And then I think there was one more piece. And oh my god, look at this. Look, I I need to know where you get your bling. <laughs> Uh, I'd be in so much trouble, though. I may, don't, I may not need to know where you get your bling. But it's my bling now. And I'm so grateful for it. It's so gorgeous. It is so beautiful. That is a pendant. Or whatever I want it to be. But man, oh man. I love that. Let me close in on that one, too. Yes. Just stunning. Just beautiful, y'all. It is just gorgeous. Just beautiful. I love it. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's just awesome. Don't you love it? Got my fingerprints all over it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, thank you, Grace. Thank you so much for all of that. Now, I've got one more package. And I need to cut this shorter. Because I'm going to be on here forever. But she sent so much. And I'm so grateful. I mean. Oh, oh. Grace. I love you. I love you anyway. But I really love you. <laughs> I love you always. I love you no matter what. But man. I'm going to tell you. I'm so grateful for all that you sent. She knows I don't have laces. And the, the most I have is some trim for laces. So. Um, I don't know. And I did get my first laces uh, from her. And then I bought my first laces from out of a kit from the Flare By Me with Melanie Santiago. And, um, gosh, I told her. And I want to show you the bear. Um, she did a bear project, okay? Uh, she did a bear project. And it included some gorgeous lace over this bear. And she gessoed the bear. And you, I, I try to remember to leave a link to that video in this in, in the Dropbox. So uh, make sure you go into the Dropbox and uh, look for that video. So I need to put my art journal. Uh, there was the, I don't know, the I'm going to have to go back, go back and watch my own video just to remember which links to put in here. But I'm going to put hers in there for the bear. Because I have a bear that my mom was going to throw away uh, that she's had for a long time. Let me get it for you. Now, I remember my mom having this bear when I was young. I, I couldn't tell you how young. I just know I was young. And she's had it forever, and it's still in great condition. And my lighting in here is just awful. Uh, I do apologize for that. I'm getting a lot of shadow and a lot of yellow. Um, let me see if this helps. Nope. But anyway, uh, this is the bear that I plan to make. Uh, out of inspiration from Grace's uh, project that she created and made. And uh, I was inspired. And when my mom was going to throw this away, I'm like, no, it's mine. So I'm going to gesso this puppy or this bear. <laughs> it's not a puppy. And uh, she sent me 
the lace that she used in which to create it. What? I mean, that is just so thoughtful. It is so wonderful of her. And I'm grateful. Oh, look. And, and, you know, she didn't use all of that. And I'm not either. But, man, it was just a really, really inspiring uh, bear that she made. And I, I really can't wait to tackle this. And as you guys know, I'm going back to my truck uh, this week. Uh, well, come Monday. And um, I might be taking this bear with me as my first project in the truck. So, and look, that's a... Uh, like a taupe or uh, off gold color here she sent me a pink one oh my gosh and my camera is not doing this any justice and I know it dead burn it I hate the lighting in here but it's the best I got y'all let me try to zoom in and see if maybe that'll help I don't know if that helps it looks like it did Man, is that not gorgeous? So here was the first one. I love this lace. Oh my God. Look at that lace, y'all. I'm so lucky. I'm so, so lucky to have uh, this lace. And I only have it because my beautiful friend was willing to share hers with me. And I know that this is not a cheap lace. She spent a pretty good penny on this lace. And I'm so grateful that she shared it with me. Grace, thank you, sweetheart. Really, I'm, I'm grateful. It's so beautiful. Um, I know I'm not getting the full thing in here because I have it so close up. But I really wanted everybody to see these colors. I mean, it just, I didn't want to not give it the justice it deserves. But look at that stunning lace, y'all. Stunning, stunning lace. I can't get over it. It's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And it's mine. Hey. Can't say I'm not going to have some shabby sheet going on here. I'm just saying. She also gave me some other beautiful lace. Now, this is a very wide lace, and we were talking about this. And, you know, this is the kind of lace that you can cut up and use as individual little appliques. And the first thing that I saw was like the church stained glass window. So I think this would also be awesome on uh, my Bible journals. What do you think about that? Yes, yes, yes. Bible journal lace. Beautiful. Sorry, my dog outside is going nuts probably hearing the coyotes out there or something. They're always out here every night. So then, I've got this beautiful lace as well that she sent. And man, you can cut that up too and do little individual appliques as well. Is that not just awesome? She gave me at least a yard or so of this. So yeah, I'm loving it. Thank you, Gracie. Man, something's really getting to my dog. I'll be right back. I'm going to go check him out and make sure he's okay. Okay, sorry about that. Yes, there are coyotes out there. I live in the country, so we get them every night. And uh, he is just an alert dog. He lets us know when something's around. He doesn't like it. So there's another beautiful lace that she gave me there. And then there's also these beautiful flowers. And uh, this is also ones that I'll probably be cutting up individually. And I love them because I love to use flowers on an, you know, out of a lace pattern and, and do them as an individual applique. Love that. Love that. And uh, here is another lace that she sent me. It's beautiful lace trim dangles. And I'm super thrilled about these because... They have dangles. They have dangles. I've never had this before, and I see it all the time. And I'm always like, where do people get that? Well, I got mine from Gracie, Lacey, Lacey, Gracie. But she was generous enough and kind enough to share her stash with me. And uh, well, at least some of her stash. Uh, a portion of her stash. I don't know what she has, but I can tell you that she was gracious enough to share with me. And for that, I am grateful. I love that. I love it. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lace. 
and um, she is a fine, fine woman. If you don't know her, you ought to, and if you know her, uh, she is just a sweet, 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 loving woman, and I'm not saying that for gifts. I don't. I don't do that. Um, she is an absolute incredible person. She's knowledgeable. She's so smart. She teaches me stuff all the time. Uh, she's very historical, and, um, well, she's nostalgic. She's exactly what her name is, and I find her very intriguing, and she's always teaching me something. And believe me, this girl don't know, so I am thrilled when she starts telling me stuff. I get excited because, you know, I'm, I'm always learning something new, and uh, she's very knowledgeable, so thank you, Grace. Look at these doilies. I've been talking about her, but man, look at these doilies. I love, I see this on a stick pen, y'all. I see this on a stick pen. Love it. My mom made me some small ones too. And I think they'll go great together. Beautiful, beautiful. I love doilies. Well, I never used to, but I do now. <laughs> The more into the crafting community I've gotten, the more I love all the frilly stuff, frilly frou-frou stuff that everybody else is already way ahead of me on. Um, and I made a mess of these laces. My goodness, look at that. Light laces, but these ribbons. She sent me a variety of ribbons. Again, I am absolutely grateful for. And I don't know how she had them packed in here, but I will promise you I made a mess of them. <laughs> So here's a variety of, of beautiful satin ribbons. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love my ribbon. Now, I'm going to tell you she also took care of me in my jewelry department. She knows that I make jewelry. Um, I'm not as, I'm not as, uh, uh, how do you say it? schooled in the art of jewelry but I have dabbled that was the first thing that I started doing was jewelry I got intrigued I guess about four years ago maybe that one maybe five at this point I don't know those years are flying by so it might have been five years ago and I never felt good enough to really put it out there um because I'm still learning now beading I do a little bit of beading but my my strong point is more wire work I'm better with wire work um, I haven't done either in a while, and I do have a jewelry channel called Stephanie's, um, Handcrafted Jewelry, so please do check that out. I'll also have that link in the bottom of the description box. I uh, don't have too many videos out on that, but I'm working on a piece, and, uh, it will be a chain mail, uh, piece that I've been working on, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Probably something for a wedding or a prom, definitely a ball and ball gown style of uh, jewelry that I'm making uh, necklace I'll probably do um, some sets to that I don't I don't know but uh, it is a very pe uh, beautiful piece that I'm working on I'm very proud of it but without further ado let me just show you guys what Gracie sent me oh my gosh I told you she sent me some wire and uh, I'm grateful for that because I can always use the wire but she sent me these beautiful six by seven millimeter freshwater pearls. Um, I'm gonna zoom in just because I want you guys to get a good look at these pearls. I mean, everybody knows what freshwater pearls look like, I'm sure, but you know what? You don't know what they look like from my friend Grace. Look, they're gorgeous, just gorgeous. They're beautiful. Not that my nails are done or anything, but there you go. Freshwater pearls, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I love them. And then here's another set. These look a little smaller. These look like... Actually, they say they look, these are 6 by 7s but it uh, looks like 7 by 8s and these look like 5 and 6 But, you know, what do I know? Um... Then she also got me, she labeled it, thank God. These are natural faceted emerald abacus. 
They're five by five by eight millimeter, and these are definite uh, real emerald. They are real emerald. They're, she says they're they're on the lower end of the real emerald, but they're naturally faceted, um, and you can see they're not a uh, uniform. Um, I don't know that they're naturally. I don't think they're naturally polished, of course, but um, they're absolutely gorgeous. And there's one that's got more round to it without any facet on it. Um, but she gave me the history and the background. And you know what? I told her I really needed to write that down because I'm not going to remember it. But I do want to. I do want her to tell me again about these beautiful, beautiful five by eight millimeter um, faceted uh, emerald abacus. They're, they're lovely. They're just lovely. I cannot wait to do some uh, jewelry with those. And this is um, natural coral beads. And these are like uh, barrels. These are like barrel beads. She told me all about these too. That's what I'm saying. I mean, she's, she's so informative. And she remembers all that. I mean, I, she could tell me, but I'm not going to remember. I don't, I comprehend it, but I don't keep it in my my poor little brain it's just it's got too much in it to remember everything but this is natural coral and uh they're not what you get in the stores they're just not these are true natural coral they're not dyed they're not the fake stuff you can even see the blemish of the coral i don't know if you can see that like i can but it, it's beautiful beautiful coral my gosh Thank you, Grace. You're beautiful. I'll set that aside. And she also, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce it, Genuine Carnelian. Uh, the Carnelian, she told me it is a rare stone. The Carnelian is a rare stone. Um, and, wow, I mean, I'm just blown away. I'm, I'm scared to touch them. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm going to tell y'all when I do work with the beads that she gave me, the, the, the gemstones, because they're not just beads, these are actual gemstones, um, like this corn, carnelian. It is a rare orange stone. Uh, they're not cheap. They are rare, and they're hard to find, and she got them for me. So when I do this, they will be in real silver, and I will put them on my Etsy shop when I come up with a design and a creation to use these special beads with because they are special and I'm just going to tell you it's not going to be my typical artistic wire that I use these gems with so please be looking forward to some of my jewelry channel um, Stephanie's Handcrafted Jewelry um, I have a small website called Jewel It All uh, I also have that link below, but please, it's a little outdated. I don't really go to it that much. I'll probably try to get a new website soon, a real one. <laughs> this one was one of those trial ones for me because I really don't know what I'm doing. But when I do these, I promise you they're going to be in my shop, my Etsy shop, the Jewel It All Etsy shop. Uh, these are more coral beads. Uh, these are four millimeters of these again are real coral they are not and i'm saying coral i mean coral <laughs> my texan getting in there these again are real coral beads these are four millimeters aren't they gorgeous they're just gorgeous i don't know if me moving them around is doing any justice for them but i'm gonna get the blurry out and zoom in on this There we go. Now that, my friends, is real coral. And um, they're just absolutely stunning. Again, not something I'm going to uh, be cheap about. They will be in my Etsy shop later down the road. Now, lapis lazuli. If you don't know what lapis lazuli is, I um, believe she mentioned that these are the five millimeters. I believe she told me that the lapis lazuli is a healing stone that the ancient Egyptians used to, this is what they used to use. 
Oh my god, no, we can't have that. We can't have that. I dropped a bead. I got it. I got it. Saved. You know what? Let me just do this before I mess up. Wow. Now they won't roll around everywhere. Lapis lazuli is a blue stone. Uh, she did say, I remembered this one, I think, a bit. I did remember she said that this is a, a, a rare, not a, is this rare too? I don't remember she said this was rare, but the lapis lazuli is a healing stone, and they were used by the ancient Egyptians, and um, I'm trying to get a good close-up. There we go. They're freaking gorgeous. Look at that. She mentioned that. In the real true lapis lazuli, there will be flakes of silver and or gold, uh, which gives them the elements of the healing part of the stone, I think, is what she said. And this is what these were worn and used by the ancient Egyptians. This was their uh, healing stone. Look, I still got paint on me. I've been crafting, y'all. Um, so I wanted to try to get a close-up on those. I don't know if my camera will zoom. Okay, I, that's as close as I think I can get them without blurring them out too much. I don't know. Let me try one more time. Ha ha, look at that. Now maybe you can see them well enough. Um, if you do see a flake of gold or silver, it is real gold and or silver inside of the lapis lazuli. It is a healing stone that the ancient Egyptians, look at me, listen to me sounding all smart like my friend Gracie. Uh, she educated me. She's the one that told me. So don't, I'm not taking any credit. I just sound like I knew what I was talking about. So <laughs> believe me. Um, and these were five millimeters. When I use these, they will also be in silver wire, sterling silver, and um, they will also be in my Etsy shop when I come up with a, the special design for these guys because they will be special. They already are special. All right, off to the next one. Oh, my goodness. Now, here is my pride and joy, my pride and possession right here. This, my dear hearts, is true real genuine opal i believe she said they were black opal but they're called triples they're called triple opal so let me try to uh, explain how she explained it to me and grace forgive me if i ruin this um my understanding is that first and foremost the opal is home to australia it's an australian stone or shell, excuse me, it's a shell, and it's an opal is made naturally out of the water. So they're natural from Australia. They have become scarce, hard to find, therefore being very expensive and hard to get. Um, and so she really, really went out of her way to find these for me, and they're absolutely stunning gorgeous i can't say enough about these but she called them triples now let me explain this if i'm going to say this right a triple is where you have a very 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 thin layer of opal okay they are like paper thin and then they turn and they do an acrylic bottom you see that there's an acrylic bottom and then they have a glass covering over them and you cannot put these in water. You don't want because water. These are uh, these are made out of water, like from natural. You know, they're they're grown naturally out of the water. So you cannot uh, keep them or submerge them in water. I don't really know what happens to them, but she told me, make sure you protect these and don't get them wet. You don't want these getting wet. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen, but. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to figure out how in the world am I going to wire wrap these little bitty teeny tiny little things. Look how little that is. I mean, that's what, a three millimeter? Four millimeter at most? So I'm going to have to be very clever with these and very, 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 very careful with those. And all of these are so super small, but are they not beautiful? Look at that gorgeous gorgeous color i mean stunning genuine australian opal guys 
and um, grace, my goodness, <laughs> I, I don't have enough thank yous. I don't have enough words. I'm, I feel very uh, honored. Um, I'm so grateful, but I, I feel so honored to have that you thought of me like this that you really put yourself out there and you thought of me like this. I would have never purchased these. I would have never, and you might have gotten me to where I'm going to be more of a, a real jewelry collector or doing the finer things. I don't know. But thank you for believing in me. Um, thank you for thinking of me. Thank you for loving me as a friend from so far away. You mean the world to me. And I'm absolutely grateful for you. I, I don't have enough words. And I'm, I'm just super grateful for what you've done. For all of the laces, the bling, the, 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 the wire, the, oh, the, the, the gems. The, I can't even speak. I, I really just don't have the words. Um, I'm grateful, and, uh, the gemstones, the lace, the bling, the appliques, the doily, the cutouts, the time that you took for the cutouts, the beautiful, uh, lace that is your pride treasured lace for the bear, um, you didn't have to share that with me, and I know you hold that tight, and so for that I'm grateful too. You know, we do these happy mails and exchanges because we care about each other and um, sometimes it's for challenges and sometimes it's just for being friends but sometimes they're just super special and this is definitely uh, one of those times because you are super special um, I've gotten to know you so well and I'm still learning you and getting to know you and I have not been disappointed in who you are so for those of you that don't know her get to know her and for those of you uh just know that she's a special lady okay she's a special lady and and for those of you who do know her you know be grateful that you do because she is a super wonderful person uh god did well in creating this one i'm just gonna say that i'm grateful and i love you thank you grace uh, on that note i am going to um well stop the camera <laughs> Wait a minute, that's a pretty picture. Look at that. Ooh, that's some good looking bling. Sorry. Okay, so here it is from the natural coral. Oops, I forgot a coral. Here's another coral. And I'm saying coral. Coral. <laughs> natural coral here and here. The emerald, the freshwater pearls, the genuine cornelian. The and I forgot this one. This is true uh, amethyst, and it's shaped in the beautiful shape of a wing. Is that not gorgeous? The uh, lapis lazuli and the genuine Australian uh, water opal, black water opal, um, the triple. So, uh, not to mention everything else. Oh, and I I put her card aside. So she did also send me a card. And I believe it was the, where did I put it? It was a card that she made. I really wanted to showcase that. Where did I put your card, Grace? Hold on. I found it. There it is. Look at that. And she, look at that. I'm going to tell you what. She even has a wax stamp with her initial, which I love. I want one of these. I'm going to get me one of those. And I love her stamp. This is who she is. Nostalgic intricate delights so I'm just saying she's pretty incredible look this is a card that she made now it is a blank card because she knew that I liked this one because it had the corset and she did this beautiful uh, cutouts and embossing and lace look at that is that not beautiful I really wanted to show off her car. Um, it's like that corset that she sent me, and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's 
just beautiful. It's not my birthday, but it is a blank card that I can use for a birthday, but she did send me this. Oh, I don't know if I should read that. Nope, it's okay. To Stephanie, a little love from far away. God bless you. Enjoy, sweetie, you, your distant friend, Grace Valdivia. Isn't that not beautiful? I just had to show y'all because look at the embossing on that. It's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. So, thank you, Grace. And it's just a beautiful card done very well. And I love these little bitty baby roses. These little rosebuds. What a nice touch. Anyway, so there you go, you guys. Grace Valdivia giving me this. And there she is. You guys have a great night. Thank you for joining me. And thank you so much, Grace. I'm very grateful. And uh, you, you guys have a wonderful day. And God bless. Bye.